the bird is dead. Long live the bird. Now when I bought this thing, I had no intention of eating on it until I actually finished it. The plan was to eat on it until I was bored with it and started getting a desperate craving for a cheeseburger. Well, that happened last night. So the next step now was disassembling it, which I have just pretty much finished doing. Now the disassembly produced a whole lot of good meat, including most of one whole boob, all white meat, good for sandwiches, dinners, whatever, a lot of dark meat, most of this, same purpose, it can be used for dinners, it can be used to make soups, stews, casseroles, and here were the last remaining pickings, which were a little closer to the bone, but are still good for soups and stews and stuff. So this is what's actually left. I will process it and freeze it. And all this then is destined to be whacked up and thrown in the stock pot and cooked until there is absolutely nothing left in it. And I'll have a good supply of turkey stock to last me for the next year. Well, maybe not a year. <laughs> so out comes the old pressure cooker. And this is one of those rare times when I wish it was actually bigger. I have done 12 pound burrs before and squeezed everything into it and done it all in one batch. But with this 15 pounder, looking at it, I think I'm going to break it into two batches just to make sure I get all of the really good stuff out of it. First step is to brown it all. I'm throwing it in a skillet just because there's more space to work with in there. And again, I'll be doing it in batches. Browning it just brings out that much more of the flavor that's left in all of this goop. And this is all about extracting maximum flavor. Flip. Better. This will take several minutes. Get a nice brown onto it. That's what it's all about. And when you're seeing some good color, Dump it in the pressure cooker. And rinse and repeat. Next batch. Now I'll keep doing this until, in this case, I've got the pressure cooker as loaded as I want to get it. Because I don't think there's any way I can get this whole beast in there, so I won't try. Now when you've got the thing about as full as you want it, add water. That was four cups, it was a quart. I'm probably going to add about another two cups. I want to cover most of it, but I don't want to overfill the pressure cooker. That is not a good thing to do. and this will boil down too. Get it started boiling 
And uh, now I'm not going to add any seasonings at all at this point. I'm just banking on what's already in the bird. And when I actually have a stock forming, then it's time to do a taste test. When it starts coming up to a boil, seal it up, set it for 15 pounds, and let it come up to pressure. Now when the control starts jiggling, turn the heat down to a medium low. Stabilize it to where it just jiggles uh, two or three times a minute. And I'll leave it like that for an hour. Open it up and see what's in there. Time to find out what's going on in here. Always totally depressurize one of these before you go to open it up. Fortunately, if you don't, I think you'd have a hard time getting the top off which is a good thing, because if you could, it would probably go right through your ceiling. I don't think you want that. Okay. Time for a little bit of a taste test. Mmm, good. Needs adjustment though. First thing it's going to get is a little more water. Maybe about a cup. That looks good. Throw in a few bay leaves. A sprig of fresh sage. I'm not going to add any salt to it because in making a stock you have to keep in mind that you're going to be using it in all sorts of dishes and you don't know how much salt you're going to need. Adding about a teaspoon of marjoram. A little bit of thyme. Where are you? About a teaspoon of it, too. And just a splash of nutmeg. And I'm going to leave it at that. Again, remembering you're creating a stock that you're going to use later on in who knows what dish? You can season it more then. So, back on the stove, I'm going to let it run for another hour. After another hour, I pronounce it done. And the next trick is to strain it without spilling it all over the place. Easier said than done. Now I'll let it just sit there and drain for a while and uh, do exactly the same thing to the other half of the carcass. Now the next day, after it's sat all night in the fridge and settled a little, it's a fairly easy matter now 
to skim the fat off of the top of it. Like thusly. Now, if you're not a purist, having a few little odds and ends of fat left in it are not a big deal. I'm not going for fat-free here. A final step, if you're so inclined at this point, is to clarify it, which will just clean it up a little bit more, turn it into a clear broth, I'm dumping two egg whites into it, along with, yes, the crumbled up eggshells. I'll save the yolks from these for making an omelet. Now bring this up to a simmer. As it comes up to the boil, it's supposed to develop this frothing sort of a raft on top of it. Which allegedly sucks up all of the impurities that are making it less than clear. Okay, now as it comes to a boil, you're supposed to turn it down to a simmer and let it sit and simmer for 15 or 20 minutes or so. And sure enough, after about a half hour, The stuff underneath is amazingly clear. I'm kind of impressed. The trick now is to get all of this stuff off the top of it, but that can be dealt with. You were supposed to do a final filtering through cheesecloth, but being a rebel, I used a paper towel. Worked fine. And this is what I have. Looks beautiful. And it's rich, concentrated, and it tastes fantastic. So when it's all done and over with, I have a half a gallon of top quality concentrated stock packaged up in half cup hockey pucks which I can file away in the freezer and anytime I need stock if I need a half a cup I grab one I grab whatever I need I don't have to measure it and bagged up and ready for storage it looks like this and also resulting from this project I have three pounds of assorted turkey meat, white, dark, slices, pieces, good, mediocre, all packaged up, ready for the freezer, and I can go in there anytime I'm in the mood for turkey, grab what I want. Makes life so simple.